Welcome to this video. Playing Fide Master Alonso mostly from Denmark. Yeah, that's a cool name. Taken from uh, the motion picture Midnight Run. From from the is it the mid '80s, somewhere around that, with um, Robert De Niro and Charles Grodin. But this character is played by. Yafet Kotto, if I'm not mistaken. A fun movie, if you get to see it. It's a remake, though, I think, of a French movie. Which I never saw. Or did, I see, did I see it once? I think I did. It's very long time ago. Okay, um, <laughs> to the game. We, um, we have a Chompowski attack. And um, one of those weird lines where I, I played c5 quickly. And now I'm wondering why I did that. Now I have a position which is, I don't know, it feels a bit shaky, but uh, I have um, central control. What I'm thinking about is what about the move e5 in this particular position? Is this a move that I should do? Ah, I don't know. I wonder, I mean, if it, it, it looks loose, yeah, my center, but I have got a, a big center with possibly d5 or e5 coming up. He has got the queen on c1, so knight c4, it's not winning in the d6 pawn, like it would be with queen on d1. If he goes bishop c4, I play d5, uh, this, this should be fine, I mean, the big, big pawn center. And he's given me the bishops anyway, which I obviously uh, like. Yeah, it's a bit open, eh, the king side, but it's not um, apparent how white should drum up um, I guess some sort of attack on my king. Yeah, this is a move. Yeah, <laughs> I was briefly thinking about it, but it looks it looks weird to open up the g7 uh, bishop so so enormously. Whew. interesting, yeah, still interesting. What is good here? I wonder. Uh, yeah, e5 is still interesting. Simply because it um, takes up so much um, much space in the center. Knight d5 taking, it's probably good. Um, it's not a bad line, but I don't want to close the long diagonal. This is such a strong, strong feature of my position. Hmm, not, not easy though. Knight e4. Yeah. That's very interesting. If I go e5, I still like it. Come on, let's do it. If he goes knight e5, I'm going to exchange and play e4. I mean, this should be really a good... Po oh, he doesn't. That's surprising. Okay. Yeah, I understand um, that um, he didn't want to go to this uh, the structure that I was uh, describing, but um, still, this looks like I have a very nice uh, space advantage. Where to go? I'm not sure where to go with the queen, actually. I like to prepare a6 and b5 even, gaining more space. Ah, does he want to play b4? Uh, let's discourage that. Mm, okay, it's not not so clear how to proceed. I mean, it's it's obviously uh, okay for black with the center, but how do I actually make progress? I can also just yeah okay. Let's 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 uh, shift gears here. He will play before at some point, and I will simply ignore it. 
or will take it if he does not prepare it with a3. I'm going to going to do something on the g file. Aha. Aha. Going to Fianchetto. So I should probably get the queen away. And I have a, a good spot. Over here. I wonder about h5 here. Yeah, come on, let's let's do it. I'm a bit down on time, so should um, speed up a little bit at least. I actually believe he should go h4. I oh, can play knight. No knight f3. There's uh, maybe knight f3 could be an interesting move. Intending knight h4. Okay. Ah, uh, no knight f3. <laughs> I saw the idea. Okay, but I can take. I have. Um, it's not. It's not a disaster. Knight g5. I have queen e7. Yeah, knight f3 attacks h4 and intends knight g5, but I can take on g3. Knight g5 is not a big problem. Okay, so I gained a bit a bit on the clock. What now? Mm, queen g6. Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, this is the kind of uh, battening down the hatches approach. <laughs> okay, not not bad. I mean. Okay, um, queen h5 now, yeah. Guess getting into this pin. Oh, now this I didn't see. But um, what if what if I take it? I mean, h5 is protected. I can just take it. Huh? White resigned. Oh, that was that was a sudden end to this game. Yeah, okay, I thought I had a good position, but it wasn't certainly a, a win or anything. Or oh, the computer is very optimistic. Gives gives black two pawns, minus two. Poo, that's a lot. I mean, okay, uh, I mean, it, it's obviously a good position. I mean, I have uh, the center, I have two bishops, I have the attack here. But um, still, this is quite a lot. Um, I didn't. Um, I didn't expect it to be such a big, big advantage. Yeah, I have. Uh, I have multiple possibilities here to to improve. I can. I, mean, I can. I can play f four at some point, which must be considered carefully, of course. But this is one one idea to open up the g file. You can try it with pieces like knight g four, or simply centralize with knight e four at some stage. The only weakness on d6 is easily protected with the rook. The computer gives something like that just to put something on the board. Then back. Yeah, and um, it gives uh, two pawns to black. This is in fact a good maneuver. Maybe even bishop to e7 as could be an idea. Just cover d6 and then shift the, the, the heavy pieces over to the g and h file. I, I really have my doubts that um, here that he um, uh, when he played c4 I don't I don't I don't like that at all. It gives it gives away the c4 square for the knight, and it opens up this diagonal, and e5. I mean this wasn't the only move, but it was so tempting to play because knight e5 is what I expected, and then I take and play e4, and again it's this this long diagonal. And I don't have any um, immediate structural weakness in this position. Okay, d6, f5, but they're not easily attacked. And this is just a fantastic piece. And um, yeah, and he went here, but I don't think that this is uh, a better really, because this is so far away from, from the action on, on, on d5. And it just, um, I mean, black, black has, Four pawns influencing the center, while white has only got those. It's um, 
plus the bishop pair so this was um, really not a well um, executed opening I guess. Alright, thanks for watching.